Hello, my name is Andy and welcome to my well control class. This is the second part of basic well control. We will see few slides covering pipe and annulus capacity and also the effect of the pipe movement inside the well. These slides are prepared mainly to help new participants preparing well control tests and only covering very basic information. More experienced participants can skip this presentation. Thank you. Hole capacity in barrels per foot is equal to volume of fluid required to raise the fluid level in the hole by one foot. If a known drill pipe capacity is 0.0178 barrels per foot, then to raise the fluid level inside the drill pipe by 100 feet, we would need 1.78 barrels of fluid. If the drill pipe is filled up with one barrel of fluid, then the fluid level inside the drill pipe will increase by 1 divided by 0.0178, equal to 56.2 feet. Annulus capacity in barrels per foot is fluid volume required to raise annulus fluid level by 1 foot. If the well is losing mud at 5 barrels every hour and at the same time, the bit nozzles are plugged, and annulus capacity is 0.045 barrels per foot, then for every hour, the fluid level inside the annulus will drop by 5 divided by 0.045, equal to 111 feet. Metal displacement is equals to steel volume in a section length of a pipe. If drill pipe metal displacement is 0.0075 barrels per foot, then for every one foot of open-ended drill pipe entering well bore full of mud, the trip tank volume will increase by 0.0075 barrel. If we run 50 stands of open-ended drill pipe to set a cement plug, and the length of each stand is 92 feet, then we will expect gain in the trip tank. 50 multiplied by 92 multiplied by 0.0075 equals to 34.5 barrels. Closed end displacement is equals to pipe capacity plus metal displacement. If drill pipe capacity is 0.0178 barrels per foot and the metal displacement is 0.0075 barrels per foot, then the closed end displacement is 0.0178 plus 0.0075 equals 0.0253 barrels per foot. If we are running 1000 feet of drill string with float valve into the well, then the trip tank will increase by 1000 multiplied by 0.0253 equals 25.3 barrels. Bottom hole pressure while running in hole is equals to hydrostatic pressure plus surge pressure. Surging pressure is extra pressure at the bottom of the well, created by downward pipe movement into the well that pushing down the mud column. Factors affecting surging are pipe running speed into the well, mud viscosity, annulus space, cuttings and debris in the annulus, and few other things. Main risk if we are running in hole too fast is fracking the formation and then having lost circulations. Bottom hole pressure while pulling out is hydrostatic pressure minus swab pressure. So the bottom hole pressure is decreasing while pulling out the pipe out of hole. Swab pressure is pressure reduction at the bottom of the well created by pipe moving up inside the well, that pulling up the mud column. Factor affecting swabbing are pulling speed, mud viscosity, annulus space, cutting slash debris in annulus, and few other things. Main risk if pulling out too fast is taking in flux. Since the bottom hole is decreasing while pulling out, then ensure that the well is always full with proper fluid density. The trip tank pump must be running permanently while pulling out of hole. And the level drop monitored in trip tank must be compared to the theoretical volume. And recorded in proper trip sheet. 
stop pulling in case anomalies are detected, for any complex well. Slim hole configurations. Highly deviated slash horizontal wells. Any well using high density slash high viscosity mud. Then it is best to perform pulling out of hole with pumping out.